Tools by Ann Morris, photographs by Ken Heyman. All over the world, people use tools. Tools help us in many ways. They help us to cut. And pound. And dig. We farm with tools. We cook with tools. We even eat with tools. People use tools to make things. and to fix things. And to clean. Tools help us to write. And count. And draw and paint. Tools help us with our work. They make our lives easier. So on the half title page, we see a this was pictured in Peru. This little girl twists raw wool into yarn with the help of a spindle. The yarn will then be dyed and knitted into warm hats and sweaters. This page, the title page, was shot in France. A knife and a scissors sharpen, sharpener goes through the streets offering his services. This picture is in, was photographed in the United States. These men are competing in a log cutting contest with a two man saw. This picture was shot in Egypt. A carpenter sharpens the blade of a saw with his file. He holds the blade securely in place with his feet. This picture was shot in the United States. A barber needs very sharp scissors to cut hair. This picture was shot in India. The street is the uh, the street is this traveling barber shop. Using a razor, he shaves a man who works in a local food store. This shot was in Hong Kong. A jigsaw has a flexible blade that can change direction while it is cutting. This man is using a, a saw to ply wood. Oh, this man is using it to saw plywood. So that piece of wood, that's plywood, and that saw, he's using to cut it. This picture was shot in the United States. A knife for carving and a scoop for cleaning out the pumpkin are the right tools for making a Halloween jack-o'-lantern. This picture was shot in Brazil. Hammers are one of the carpenter's most important tools. These men are building the framework of a new house. This shot was this photograph was shot in Bali. An adze is usually used to shape round logs into square boards, but these resourceful farmers have adopted the tool for breaking up hard, dry soil. This photograph was shot in France. Very strong, sharp shears are necessary to cut grapes from their tough, woody stems. This shot, this photograph was shot in Bali as well. This farmer uses a hoe to dig holes to plant his young banana trees. This photograph was shot in Peru. 
Sticks make excellent tools for all sorts of things. Here, a woman makes fritters by holding the dough on a stick and dipping it into boiling fat. This photograph was shot in India. A piece of cloth becomes a pastry bag for squeezing batter onto the griddle. This photograph was shot in France. This practice chef uses a long flat spatula to smooth the crepes, crepes and flip them over so both sides get cooked. Crepes are kind of like really thin pancakes. This shot would, photograph was shot in the United States. We use many tools without to eat without getting food all over our hands. A spoon works best for ice cream. This photograph was also shot in the United States. And a pair of chopsticks is perfect for picking up bite-sized bite morsels. This photograph was also shot in the United States. And it says, but drinking milk through a straw is just plain fun. This shot is the United States. It says a Navajo jeweler uses needle nose pliers to squeeze silver into a setting that will hold a turquoise stone on the bracelet he has designed. This photograph was shot in Italy. This grandmother loops yarn around her neck to keep it untangled as she knits it into clothing with long bone kneading needles. So the needles are long, made from long bone. This shot this photograph was shot in the United States. A wooden mallet, similar to a hammer, and a sharp awl are used to punch perfect round holes through the leather this young man is crafting into a fine handbag. This photograph was shot in Peru. This shoemaker uses long tweezers to help him repair a pair of sandals made from old tires. This photograph was shot in El Salvador. A special blunt needle called a marlin spike is used for making and mending fishnets. That's how they fish, they use their fishnets. This photograph was shot in Portugal. This street cleaner uses a stiff brush made of twigs, a shovel, and a stick to clean those cobblestone streets. This photograph was shot in Haiti. This woman sweeps the pavement in front of her house with a broom so people won't track dirt from the street into her clean home. This photograph was shot in India. In this school, children use homemade pens and wooden slates instead of pencils and paper. After class, the slates are whitewashed so they can be used again the next day. Kind of like our whiteboards. This photograph was shot in Russia. An abacus is a counting tool that is used in many parts of the world. These children can add and subtract very quickly with this handy tool. This photograph was shot in China. Drawing with ink requires a delicate brush and a very steady hand. So similar to like a paint brush. This shot, this photograph was shot in El Salvador. This boy works carefully to paint a flower. This photograph was shot in Mexico. A big square brush is just right for painting a large area quickly. And this photograph was shot in the United States. So the claw end of a hammer is used to pull nails out of wood. So here is a world map you can see. And it even asks, where in the world were these photographs taken? So here's North America, United States, Mexico, Haiti, El Salvador. This is Central America and South America. So we have North America, Central America, and South America. In North America, you have the United States and Mexico. And Central America is more, well, you can say Haiti, El Salvador, maybe even Mexico, you can consider that Central America. And South America, Peru and Brazil. Then we have Africa, Europe, Asia, Australia. So Africa, Egypt is right here. Europe contains Italy, France, and Portugal. Asia, you can see there's Russia right there. India, China, Bali, Hong Kong, Australia. So some of these pictures, the pictures that were taken in this book, they were taken around the whole world.